In this tutorial, I'll be talking you through how to do the pulley ratios for the Delport flyer. If we look at the instructions, there are lots and lots of calculations here. So for example, we need to calculate the speed of the wheels that are going to turn out. We need to work out first pulley ratios and speed. Okay, now because there's so many kind of facts and numbers here, this is going to make a lot more sense if we put this into a spreadsheet. Okay, so if you want to open up Excel. I'm just going to start a blank workbook. And let's give it a name. So this is going to be our pulley calculator. Okay, so let's have a look at what facts we need to do. So first of all, we're going to work out what the velocity ratio. So that's going to be the diameter of the driven pulley divided by the diameter of the drive pulley. Okay, so if we put those sort of three numbers in, then we can work that out. So um, diameter of the driven pulley, we'll just say driven, diameter of the driver, and then the velocity ratio. Okay, now obviously I want these all uh, contiguous, so if I, if I go up between B and C I can resize that. I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger, I'm going to zoom in just so we can see the bit that I'm working on. Okay, so I'll just zoom in here. So the diameter of the driven, let's have a look at that. So the diameter of the driven, we're told, is 50. And the diameter of the drive is 5. Okay, so I'm going to pop that in. So the diameter of the driven was 50. And the diameter of the driver was 5. To work out the ratio, it's these two divided by each other. Okay, now because I'm using a spreadsheet, it makes sense to use a formula. Okay, so a formula always starts with the equals. So I'm going to type in equals. And it's going to be the top one divided, so that's just a little forward slash, that's going to be divided by the next one down. Okay, and the advantage of using a functional formula is that we can apply that to other ones, we can move it across the way. If we change one of these numbers, that will automatically change. Okay, so part of the badge, you've got to work out different uh, driven pulleys, so you'll be changing that one. So if we have this formula, it will automatically update. Okay, so there's the velocity ratio. So let's look at what next we need to calculate. So the next thing we need to calculate is the output speed, and that's the input speed divided by the velocity ratio. Okay, so let's put that in. So we're going to go here and we're going to say uh, input speed, and that will give us the output speed. Okay, so the input with speed we're told, okay, that the motor turns around at 5,000 RPM, revs per minute. So I'm going to turn that around, so in there we can type in 5,000. Okay, to calculate the output speed, it's going to be uh, the input, let's have a quick look at the thing. So it's the input divided by the velocity ratio. So again, we can use that as a um, formula to work that out. Okay. So it's going to be equals this box here, so that's the input speed divided by the velocity ratio up there. Okay, so that's going to work out our input speed. All right, and gives us our output speed of 500. Let's look at what the next part is. So the next part is here is uh, we're actually calculating the speed. Now we're going to calculate the speed. We need to know the diameter of the wheel, and we're going to multiply that by pi 3.14. Okay, which will give us the circumference of the wheel. We can then multiply that by our 500, which will give us the distance travelled per minute. We can then multiply it by 60 to get the distance per hour. And that will obviously give us the speed in millimetres per hour. So we'll probably divide it by 1,000 and then 1,000 again to get it into kilometres per hour. So something that makes kind of sense to us. Okay, so let's start off at the beginning of this spin here and put in our little facts. So diameter of the wheel is going to be our first thing. And we'll type in pi in here. That should give us the circumference, circumference of the wheel. Okay, so the diameter, let's just check my spelling, that's better, is going to be, I think we'll start off with what we told. The wheel diameters are, well, let's put 70 in. 
Okay, we're allowed to reload it up to 70, so we'll pop that one in. Uh, okay, and we just need to multiply those two things together to get the circumference. Okay, so in the diameter per wheel, I want to type in 70. Pi, we're going to just make 3.14. That should be accurate enough for us. And then the circumference is these, these two multiplied together. So again, start the formula function with the equals. And I just click on that box there. The multiply is the shift and 8, the asterisk. Okay, times those two together. That should give us the circumference of the wheel. Okay, which in this point case is uh, 219.8 millimeters. Okay, so what's next? The next thing to do is we need to multiply that circumference of the wheel by the RPM. And this is going to give us our distance traveled per minute. Okay, so we type in, let's just call it distance per minute. So DTP, DTM even. Okay, so that's going to be equals the circumference multiplied by the output speed. So that's that number up here. I'm just going to click on there. All right, which gives us that. Obviously, that's per minute, so I need that into hour. So if I just go distance uh, traveled per hour, okay, it's going to be the one above. So again, equals, click on that one, and this is going to be multiplied by 60. Okay, so that's the distance per hour it's traveling. Now, obviously, at the moment, that's kind of a crazy big number. doesn't seem to make much sense. So let's, let's try and get that back into something that actually makes sense to us. Okay, so if I divide that, so if we actually say um, miles per kilometer, sorry, um, kilometers per hour even, kilometers hour okay so that's going to be this number divided by a thousand and then divided by a thousand again okay so into them it's going to go equals that number there divided by a thousand okay and What I'm going to do is I'm going to try, I could do it as two separate boxes. Uh, in fact, let's do it as two separate boxes. That might look a bit neater. So, okay, so we divide it by, so that's going to be meters per hour. And the next one down will be the kilometers per hour. Okay, so again, it's going to be that one above divided by a thousand. Okay, which comes out as 6.5. So in real money, that's about four miles an hour. So that's, that's about right. Okay, now once I've got that, okay, things I need to change or be able to change is the diameter of the driven pulley. So I'm going to put that in yellow to so just use a little paint can up there. And the other thing I'm allowed to change, what's the other thing I'm allowed to change? So look, it says uh, wheel diameter and the driven pulley. So let's find, so the wheel diameter is going to be that one there. Okay, so these are the two that I can actually adjust and change. Um, once I've got that all, I should be able to type in the numbers. The driven pulley we're not allowed to change. That's stuck at 5 millimeters. so I might even put that in red just to say that's a constant. Uh, I'm not allowed to change that. Okay, but by changing these two numbers to the different options I've got here, I should be able to work out and calculate the speed for my silver batch. Good luck. If you get stuck, obviously give me a shout.